can step out Yes, I'm in now Cut your edge out To some eyes, spoke you Good morning guys. It is, today is Tuesday. I think it's the 9th. So, Priest is eating some fruit. And I'm about to eat the, these overnight oats. And then maybe do like a bagel. The nanny gets here at one. I'm gonna go get my nails done finally. Look how insane my nails look I don't know like have y'all ever waited like past the time that you're supposed to get your nails done and then when you go past that time it's like oh I'll just go in a few days oh I'll go like you keep pushing it off like your nails aren't the worst thing you've ever seen in your life and then when they break and your whole nail is coming off then you're like why did I wait this long? I feel like I'm almost at that place. So I'm like, let me, I'm forcing myself to go today. My friend is still in town. Um, she wanted to go to the pool today, but it is, it looks like it's very cloudy out. It looks like it's gonna rain. It says it's windy out. So that's not gonna happen today. She, I texted her this morning, she hasn't responded yet, so um, I'm just gonna go to the nail salon at one and we'll see if we can see her after. I have to, I have to look at my emails. <coughs> yeah, you're not supposed to shove all of them in your mouth like that. You're being greedy. Anyways. I didn't mop last night. Y'all, I'm so tired. Like, I feel like really, like, I just want to lay down and, like, just lay down all day, honestly. And I said that yesterday, but I didn't do it yesterday. So, I ended up getting up and closing my So, I didn't end up, like, just laying and chilling yesterday. So, I think after I get my nails done, I want to just, like, lay down and chill. I could be still productive and edit my vlog in bed, but I really just want to chill, relax. And update, I am trying to find a braider. My hair is so greasy right now, y'all, from putting it in buns. I'm trying to find a braider, y'all, so I can get my hair braided down so I can do a quick weave. I just don't know how my hair is going to be in a quick weave. I don't want to get a quick weave and it's still, like, blunt like this, you know? I'm thinking it will blend, but I'm just not sure because my hair is so bluntly cut. I've been trying to find a braider since yesterday, so I think I need to just do it, like stop thinking and stop being like, oh, well, is this going to be okay? Is that, I need to just do it and switch it up because I don't even want to take pictures anymore because I do not, I will not take another picture in a bun and I can't wear like dresses. Like I don't feel cute in dresses with my hair like this. Like it looks like it gives church, like it gives I'm going to church in certain outfits and we love church we love that but it's not giving it's not giving what i want it to give for my promo and stuff like it's just not so i need to get a quick weave i miss long hair y'all like i miss it so much i don't have any i don't know i think i threw my wigs away honestly and i don't know how that happened definitely on accident but i threw my wigs away which i need to get some new ones it is i don't know where my phone's at it's probably 11 30. i need to get him ready so i'm about to get him together and then i guess i'm gonna get myself together i'm gonna put on a little layers basics outfit and probably put my hair in a bun girl I'm gonna continue to drink my coffee. Hopefully that helps and we will see you guys. I'll probably see you guys at the nail salon or before I leave. Bye. See. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mimi, no te pongas. Mira las cámaras, ¿viste? Hey guys. 
so I'm so tired. I need to drink coffee. I just got back to from the nail salon. So here are the nails. I did like a nude French. I was gonna do almond shape, and then she started shaping my nails. I wasn't paying attention to square, so I was like, whatever, let's just leave it square. So originally I made an appointment at this Russian manicure place. But when I got there, they said that the computer was down when I made the appointment and they didn't have that time available. So they wanted me to come a full hour later, which I was not going to do. So I just went to another one. <sighs> it was called Neo Nails, I think. She did really good. It just took a long time, but she did pretty good. I don't have any complaints. I've never done this before, like a new French. So I feel like it's really cool. I do like it. I just, next time I'm gonna do almond shape because I'm over the square nails. But I think this would look so good on almond shape nails. So I'm gonna do that next time. I'm just so grateful to have my old nails off because they looked so bad, y'all. We are, we were supposed to go to the water park, but um, traffic is so crazy. So it is gonna take us 46 minutes to get over to where my friend is at so we are just gonna wait like an hour wait for traffic to die down because it's only 25 minutes without traffic and i don't know what i'm gonna do for the next hour i kind of want to just like chill and relax because i'm tired but we're gonna see y'all we're gonna see where the day takes me in this next hour so guys later today is april wednesday 10th um so yesterday we went to go see our friends at the hotel and it was her daughter's it was um my friend's daughter's first birthday so they've met before so i wanted to bring priest over there so we could celebrate with them and it was just her and priest they're playing y'all the scariest thing happened to me and literally it was so traumatic and i never want to experience it again and i never want Chris to go through it again but i think it's really important to talk about because i had no idea about this and i think it's disgusting that health providers don't make people more aware about this because it scared me to death okay but priest has been teething he's getting his two front teeth in and yesterday he ended up falling asleep he was a little like cranky like the last hour before we were about to leave but i was like okay whatever he's probably just like socially drained like he's ready to go so we're about to leave and he wakes up and he's just really hot and i'm like okay he's really hot like this is weird and i was like whatever like we're about to leave like he probably has a fever from teething or whatever or maybe he's getting a fever from teething or i don't know so, we're about to leave, and he starts having convulsions, like he's having a seizure. So immediately, I lay him on his side, we call 911, 911 gets there, and they're just telling me that it's common in kids younger than five, and I guess they grow out of it at five. Some kids have it, some kids just don't. And there's no explanation for it basically but they're saying basically they're saying whenever a baby gets a fever really fast their body will like shut down basically i'm not shut down i don't think that's the proper term but their bodies will basically go through this whatever it goes through which causes them to have a seizure but it's not, the guy said it's technically not a seizure, but when I looked it up, because I was like, let me do my own research. So when I got home, I like looked on TikTok, which is sick that we can get all of our information from TikTok. I Googled it and then I looked on TikTok. Just because obviously other parents have had this experience and I wanted to see other people's experiences. So people were talking about it in their experience and some people were saying that their kid had multiple you know, it's happened to their kid multiple times or other people said, you know, it only happened once, one time and it never happened again. So everyone just pray for priests and you know, all we can do is pray and hope 
you know, just pray that he never has to go through that again. And I never have to go through that again. Because, y'all, yesterday was, like, the most traumatic night ever for me. And I'm sure for him. And it scared me <laughs> half to death. It scared me half to death. And I just wanted to take the time to explain that to you guys. I tell you guys about it because I'm just like, God forbid that happens to anybody else. And, you know, obviously my friend has a kid the same age as Priest, so it's like now she knows and is aware that it's a possibility that can happen. And so he still has a little bit of a fever. I'm taking him to the doctor. What's up, baby? He it has been pretty good today. So I'm taking him to the doctor tomorrow. He has an appointment at 2 o'clock. So I just want him to get checked out. I want um, just to make sure that he doesn't have like an ear infection that I don't know about or if it's from teething. Because I know that can be really brutal on them. But I just want to make sure that he doesn't have an ear infection that I don't know about or anything of the sort. And whatever that is going on can get treated immediately because I don't want this to ever happen again. Okay? And I'm so thankful that he's okay. And last night, let me tell y'all, I could not, I got no sleep last night. Like, I got no sleep. He slept really well last night, thankfully, but I got no sleep because I was so worried about him. <coughs> so, yeah. If you guys are pregnant or you have a baby under five, if that happens to you, you know, just be prepared and it's a horrible thing to go through as a horrible experience but if you're prepared and you know what's happening it won't be so horrific and he was saying you know when they are going through that it's they're fine it doesn't damage their brain or anything or it's not like an actual seizure i guess i don't know but we have him naked so he can regulate his body temperature because he's still a little warm. I've been giving him, I've been switching between Motrin and Children's Motrin and Tylenol. But I've been, y'all, I've been, I've been on the verge of tears all day. Because I'm just so worried about him. But I know he's going to be fine. I know he's going to be fine. It was just such a scary experience to go through. But I'm so thankful that, like, I didn't, I wasn't alone. And it didn't happen in the car or something on our way home. So, yeah. But anyways, I'm about to, I've just been tending to him all day. I've just been making sure that, you know, he's like a hundred, a hundred, a thousand, a million percent. Um, so, I am going to clean up a little bit. We just left the house to go to Whole Foods. So I'll show you guys what I got from Whole Foods. I'm also gonna give him some Tylenol right now too. I got, um, and it is 721 right now, so. <laughs> I got some creamer. The creamer I have now is so nasty and it tastes like, it just does not make my coffee taste good. I got this, okay, first of all, rewind. I saw this, like, brown cake sugar brown sugar cake batter coffee at whole foods and i was like i have to try that which i'm pretty sure it was closed because it's so late but anyway i got this almond creamer it's brown sugar so i feel like that is gonna be amazing and then i got this coffee cake this is almond and coconut creamer so i feel like that's gonna be amazing i got avocados of course um I'm about to feed Priest some a little bit of fruit and avocado. He ate a little bit earlier, but I just want to make sure that he is like extra good. I got pineapple and blueberries. Some more avocado. I got Priest. He has a toothbrush, but it's like like silicone. So I wanted to get him a new toothbrush and see how this goes. And then I also got strawberries, of course, because Priest love those, loves those. We are gonna, I am gonna clean up and edit 
and then we're just gonna wind down for the night so i hope you guys have a great night if i don't vlog the rest of the night i will see you guys tomorrow go to priest appointment he is as you could hear he is up and running he woke up with a fever and he was super uncomfortable last night he had a fever last night but everything was great he slept but he i could tell he was uncomfortable 
This morning he definitely woke up with the fever, but I gave him some medicine and we um, got him in the bath. He took like a lukewarm bath to like help his temperature like stable out. So he is, you know, running around doing whatever he wants to do. His appointment, I thought his appointment was at 2. It was at 11, so I had to reschedule for 1.30 today. So now our appointment is at 1.30. It is 12.10, so we're probably going to leave here at 1 because it's only, I think it's only a 5-minute drive from here. 5 or 10 minutes, so it's super close. I'm just trying to clean up a little bit before we go so when I get back, I can do some of my work. I edited a lot last night, which I'm really happy about, so I'm just gonna continue to do that. I cannot believe, y'all, it's Thursday. So, <clears throat> I'm a little shocked about that. I thought today was Wednesday, but it's Thursday. Before we leave, I'm gonna try to eat something and clean up as much as I can so we can come back to a clean space because I feel like things have been just like really all over the place because I've really been focused on watching his every move and just like really monitoring him so nothing <coughs> nothing really mattered so we're getting back to our regular programming I just put on a t-shirt and my black shorts And then I'm gonna put on some sneakers. Where's the P? P? Hold on. Are you eating your Cheerios? Let's see. We got back from Chris's doctor's appointment a second ago. Oh, we got back from his appointment. Maybe like an hour ago. Honestly, she didn't tell me anything besides everything I googled. She wasn't very helpful. But she did rule out an ear infection. So she checked his throat and his um, ears. So he doesn't have an ear infection. So she said... Basically, it just looks like he could have a virus if his fever doesn't go away in three days. So by Saturday, today's Thursday, to bring him back in. Which I feel like his fever is starting to like, he still has a fever, but I feel like he's getting better. I'm just going to continue to like monitor his temperature today. And I got him these little ice packs they're like fever packs for little kids so i got those from amazon today so i'll show you guys um when i unbox all my stuff i am worn out guys like i do not feel like doing anything today i want to cook but i just don't know if i have the energy so i'm reheating my coffee so i can drink the rest of my coffee Greece is taking a nap right now so i want him to get as much rest as possible and I am just going to, I'm not going to do too much today. I'm just going to really make sure he's good. And I might cook a little bit later. I want to cook this rice and sausage and some other stuff. I want to cook that today. So hopefully I'll be able to do that. Maybe with like a side of Caesar salad. And most importantly, I wore those shoes, which they're Drake's version of the air force one i guess they're all leather when i tell y'all those were the most uncomfortable it was the first time i've ever worn them when i tell you it was the most uncomfortable shoes i've ever worn in my life i have blisters on both of my 
on the back of my feet on both of them right now and I'm really annoyed because now I'm not gonna be able to wear sneakers for like a week until these blisters heal they were my size so it's not like I was wearing shoes that were too small horrible shoes I will never wear them again they're super cute though because they come with like letters so you can like add someone's name or you can add a word or anything to your shoes which I ended up putting priest's initials P-E-D but I will never wear those shoes again they were super cute but like so uncomfortable definitely don't get those horrible 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 it's just bright it's very 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 happy time that's straight out of a, a storybook yes i'm very blessed my name is sue bell and i live in palm beach florida period um okay so first of all first and foremost these are the shoes to never get they just look like regular Air Force Ones, but they're all love leather on the side. It says, love you forever. If you guys have these, how do you feel about them? Because I hated them and they were so uncomfortable and I will never wear these again, like I said. But I'm just like, why are people not talking about these? Because they hurt so bad. But I'm obviously guessing because they're like the, the leather. I don't know why they put the leather inside. I don't know why they thought that would have been smart but we'll never know i guess so i'm gonna open up some of these packages i don't know what this is Ooh. okay ysl sent me some i didn't know they were sending me some stuff click pen that gives you eight hours of beauty rest <gasps> in just one click i'm so excited to try this the touch eclat awakening click pen i probably said that all wrong is built with light infused pigments that allow you to conceal correct highlight brighten and contour seamlessly wait i do remember this this was um a while ago though so they sent me information about this a little bit ago so i forgot about it this the packaging is top tier. They snapped with this. So I got colors 4 and 4.5. They snapped with this packaging. So it has like the YSL on here, fire. And then this is what... Hopefully you guys can see this. I can't even tell. We'll try this a little bit later. So, is this supposed to be concealer? Is this concealer? Or is this like something that's like more natural that you just dab and go? That's not like quite like, it's an illuminator and corrector. So, I think this is something that you can just wear every single day. I don't think it's like as full coverage as concealer, which I, I've been looking for something that's not as intense as concealer to wear every day. So I'm really excited to try this. Let's look it up on TikTok. That's definitely not how you say it. Touch e -clot. This is not how you say it. <laughs> YSL. This is YSL Touche Clot All Over Brightening Pen. Touche Clot. Okay, let's watch this at the same time, y'all. Why I sell two shade clock all over brightening pen. I'm using shade two and ivory radiance. I click on the bottom of the pen to release the concealer and it's like a magic wand. Instantly brightens, smooths, and perfects your complexion with a natural luminous finish. I'm applying the areas where I want a little brightness and highlight and I'm pressing it in with my makeup sponge from Corsair Cosmetic. It's infused with pigments for a healthy natural glow. It brightens the complexion to fight dullness, fatigue, and bring light to the face. Food. It also smooths fine lines and wrinkles and lifts your feature with no caking or creasing. It's also great to perfect your makeup and give your lips a more natural plump, erase any traces of mascara flakes, eyeshadow fallout, or smudge lipstick. It's great for all skin types. This brightening concealer pen is sheer to medium and also buildable. Have you tried it? Let me know your thoughts. This is my cell too. Okay, shape. let's try this. We're gonna try this after. I open up the rest.
Okay, so I don't know if any of you were on my live on TikTok. I was making the brownies again and my mixer um, died and I could not find the charger for it because it's a wireless mixer. So I had to order a new charger on Amazon, which is amazing that they have just the chargers on there. So if you ever lose a charger to something, go look on Amazon because more than likely they're going to have it. I don't... Obviously, I lost it um, while moving. I think I probably didn't lose it. It's probably just in one of my boxes in storage. But yeah, so I ordered another one because I have to have this. Okay, so these are the cooling patches that I was talking about so, to soothe the headache, toothache pain, muscle ache, drowsiness, fatigue, sunstroke, effective up to eight hours, gentle, oh, I have like that goes, gentle, skin friendly, high water content, breathable. So you basically just put it on their forehead and this is going to be perfect for Priest because he's been getting really hot when he sleeps and it's been like, I have not been able to sleep because I'm so worried about him and this will just like keep him cool and kind of like moderate his fever. So I'm so happy I found this on Amazon. Amazing. Thank you Amazon. Why am I so childish? I got these chicken nuggets from the store for Priest and I made them for myself. So let's do 45 on one side and then we're going to do the four on the other side. So. Yeah, we have to do it down. This is in four. This already looks really light, so I feel like this already is gonna be too light for me. Four is gonna be too light. Oh, maybe not. No, four I think actually matches me a little bit better. Yeah, four actually looks like it will be, we'll see if it like brightens the Four. It's definitely four for me. Okay, so I don't really know. I feel like they both look good. I can't really... T I'm like, I feel like this side brightens my face up more because it's a little lighter. But I'm like, maybe this one looks good too. I don't know, y'all. I can't really tell. I feel like if I wanted to use this one, I would just use concealer. So I think the darker one works best if I'm not gonna wear anything or maybe like this and a little blush. So it looks really good. And she said it's buildables. Ah, oh, fuck. Ow! Woo! I just had my hip so bad.
why are you doing that to me so hard? Update y'all. Priest is feeling so much better, which I am so happy about. I look insane. I have been doing the most all day long. <sighs> I just gave him a bath. I cooked two meals, y'all. I made this rice and sausage, and then I made twice baked potatoes, which I'll show y'all. But I need to wash my face. I need to get in the shower. I have yet to eat one. But I'm really excited to try it. I'm about to get, I don't know, I'm probably going to have to take a bath because I don't think Priest is going to let me take a shower. And everything's clean. I did my dishes. I cooked. There's food. We're so blessed. And, and so I meant to order two things of diapers. We've been going through diapers so fast, but... I meant to order two of these and they only gave me one. And then I just got Priest some more like little snacks and stuff. He loves these breakfast bars, so I got him these. I got him these little like spaghetti things for lunch. They're like little pasta spaghetti. And meat sauce, I don't like that. That is kind of weird. But I thought it was just like spaghetti. I didn't know it was like in meat sauce because I'm like, what's the meat? has to be vegan. I don't usually get him stuff like this because I feel like it's like processed and it's not the best. But I've been needing something quick sometimes for him. So he can eat those like periodically. And then I get him these little veggie pouches because I've been trying to feed him broccoli y'all and he will not eat it. And like he acted like he did not want to eat the uh, chicken pot pie that I made the other day. And he like, would not eat it. He didn't want spitting out the carrots and everything. So I got him these little veggie pouches. They have carrots, zucchini, spinach, bananas, uh, pears, squash, peas. So I give them the him the, one of these every day. It says it's one full serving of veggies. Because I'm like, what do I have to do? Start pureeing your veggies again? But he's definitely getting back to his normal self. He does... He does not feel as warm, but I did put that pack on him. So I'm like, it's either he's like naturally just getting better or that hatch really did help him. So this is the first time he's had clothes on at home in like two days. I'll probably take this off when he goes to sleep. We'll just, we'll see how his temperature is. But I just wanted to check in with y'all. I got to bathe myself wash my face i really want to wash my hair and put a deep conditioner in it but i just don't know if he's gonna let me do that so yeah i will see you guys tomorrow tomorrow is friday i can't believe today's thursday tomorrow is friday already i cannot believe it so what do you want you can't have one of those you already have one today do you want some juice oh. We're gonna have a great weekend. Priest is gonna be, you know, back feeling 100%. And yeah, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Don't care. Good morning, guys. <laughs> it's Friday today. So Priest is back to himself, thank God. He is, as soon as he woke up today, he did sleep in because he was trying to go to sleep late last night. So he did sleep in to like 11, which I was shocked. But I just wanted to let him sleep in for as long as possible so he can get as much rest as possible. Yesterday I used that little fever pack. I don't know if his fever was already coming down when he woke up yesterday, his fever was like still, like he was very warm still. So I'm like, I gave him some pineapple juice and some pineapples the day before. And I did that little um, ice pack thing on his forehead and gave him two warm baths yesterday. One when he woke up and one before he went to sleep. 
So I'm like, I don't know if his finger was already coming down naturally or if those things like really worked for him and got him together because he is a brand new man. He is fever free. Round of applause. As you can see, I took my lashes off last night. Um, so yeah, we um, are going to redo them today because I really loved the lashes that I did last time. So I don't remember if I did them with, I did them on live. I burned myself so bad, y'all. Like, look at my hand. It hurts so badly. I ordered Band-Aids, so I'm about to go get those downstairs so I can put one over this so this can heal properly because I don't want to have, like, an ugly scar. And then I'm going to put them on my blisters, which feel a lot better today, but we need to do that. So I'm about to wash my face. We're about to eat. Where's your yogurt? Where's your yogurt? Go get your yogurt. Okay, I'm about to go brush my teeth, wash my face, get him together, get me together, and then we're going to do my lashes. I'm going to do a video today for, I have three videos to do today for TikTok. I have one for the YSL beauty sticks. Um, so we're going to do our makeup today, and then I'm going to do a video for this tripod, and then a video for these, um face towels i showed you guys unboxing it the other day i need to clean this priest got some food on this um so th this place sent me face towels and i'm so excited about it because they sent me all kinds it's the same towel but they sent me all of the boxes basically that they have so this is one of them this is an excuse me this is another one this comes with how many towels does this come 15. i cannot find how many is in this one so this is seven eight i wonder if they're all the same size or if they're different sizes oh 60 count and then this is a 50 count how is this bigger than this does that make sense maybe these are smaller i don't know but I'm really excited about this because I don't have to order them myself. And I have a bunch of them. So I'm really excited. This can go in like a travel bag whenever I travel. So that's really cute. I'm just really excited about it, as you can see. Love that. Um, these are things that people can always send to me and I will gladly take because it makes my life easier. But yeah, so let's get the day going we started the day late so it is already i think probably like 12 12 30 so i'm probably gonna spend some time outside today so all of us can get fresh air zuri has not been outside in a few days because priest has been sick so i want to get us all outside and just get some fresh air and enjoy the outside weather you know so let's get the day started good vibes only so it is moments later priest is taking a nap so i'm just going through my vlog yes i have my robe on because i was a little cold earlier but i ordered some new skincare yesterday so i want to show you guys what i got because you guys always ask me where i order my skincare and what um where i order it and like what i use and everything like that which if you guys watch my videos, you know I switched to Korean skincare, all Korean skincare, the beginning of before, I think it was the beginning of the year or around Christmas time. So I ordered that and then I'm really excited because I ordered some new lip stains. I wanted to get like um, the pink one that I told y'all I wanted to get and then I wanted to get a mauve, a mauve one. I think that's what colors um so yeah i'm excited to try that i love the lip stain that i have now i've been wearing it every single day because it's just so convenient and it lasts me all day like and i can eat with it drink anything and it will last me all day so guys i don't know if priest got me sick but girl and these are the ones that i got
so I'm very excited to try them okay so and then for my skincare I have the app on my phone which I'm running out of all of my products basically I'm running out of my sunscreen but I found my other sunscreen because I accidentally ordered two when I originally ordered so I have that backup that I found because I thought I lost it moving which I lost my snail mucin which was brand new which I was really upset about and I was gonna reorder it but I ordered this time around um, the bean essence instead because I wanted to try that um, and I didn't think it was necessary to order the bean essence and then the snail mucin or to order both of them so the app that I use it's called yes style and then I also get my stuff from olive young and then this is the site so this is the other site that I ordered from too. This is what I got. I got a rice toner because I'm running out of my current rice toner, which is the tier tier one. But this time I'm going to try a new one. So I'm going to try the, I wanted to try this one before, but it was sold out when I ordered the last time. It's the I'm from rice toner. So it looks like this. It's $19 which all of their stuff is always on sale. Like when you order Korean products, they always give you discounts and stuff. They always have a discount going. And then I got another toner. So I got a soothing toner, which is the Heartleaf 77% soothing toner, which I wanted to try as well, but it was sold out. But this was highly rated, so I am gonna try that as well. And I'll probably, I might alternate them, do one at night and one during the day. Then I ordered this bean essence, I guess this says mini. So I'm like, is, is this, so this is a mini? How it is, cause I got their glow serum before and I like it. I just don't, I'm not like in love with it. I don't know really how I feel about it. And then I got these pads, these collagen pads. I love that it's pink. So this eye serum, it's an, Wait, so I wonder if an eye serum is, are eye serums and eye cream the same? Or do you put a serum on before like eye cream? So this is from Access Y. I've worked with them before and I like their products. So I am, this is a vegan collagen eye serum, so this has five stars, so I wanted to try this. And yeah, this year I really just want to try different um, products. I want to try different Korean skincare products and see what I like the best and find my permanent skincare routine. All of the products I have now are really great, like I don't ever break out. Um, unless I put something on my skin like sunscreen in a can, which I know I'm not supposed to be putting on my skin because I was breaking out like two weeks ago because we were going to the pool a lot and I was putting that on my face, which I'm going to stop doing. It is Friday. It's already four o'clock. The day has gone by fast because we woke up late. So I'm going to finish this and then clean up a little bit and then do some videos. My skin looks great. Everything else is a mess. I slept last night without my bonnet. So here we are. Um, but today is Saturday. I'm posting a Berlook swimsuit um, haul. So I will put it up here. If you guys haven't seen it already, make sure to go watch it. What's wrong? You can't open this. There you go. There you go. Um. It is 11.24, we've been up since about 9.30, but I've just been, you know, laying down with priests, watching some stuff, and just relaxing. I just drank some of my coffee. I'm about to get up and make Suri's food. Oh, Priest wants to be in the vlog so bad. Hey, say hi. Hello. Say hi. <laughs> you don't need to be that close. Say hi, baby. <laughs> also real quick i actually wanted to get on here to ask y'all something so when i was looking up the 
febrile seizures or however you say it. Um, someone was saying, hey, Zari, everyone's in the log today. They got to make sure that they are seen, okay? They want to make sure that they are, that y'all know that they are here, okay? But um, they were saying that those seizures, like, they're like, oh, like, Maybe they stem from vaccines and I'm the type of person like I don't usually get the flu shot or I'm like kind of wary about vaccines. I didn't get the COVID vaccine, which, you know, can be a little controversial um, when people talk about it. But I'm just very wary on vaccines because I'm like, we don't really know what they're putting in these. We're just trusting the government that they're putting good things in us and I just don't know how great that is what is wrong so i know they were saying that they recently added more vaccines so i don't know like i never paid attention too much like i paid attention but like i always trusted the doctor when it came to getting his vaccines because he's the baby and obviously i'm not gonna like you know, I want him to be as healthy as possible, and I just was very wary about not giving him vaccines. But I wish I almost like looked more into it because now I'm like, I don't know if I would have gave him some vaccines. You know, like, of course, like the measles and all of those that babies get. Like I think those are probably important. But how do y'all? What is wrong? Oh, you can't open this. He's like at a point, y'all, where he gets frustrated. I don't know how to fix that, but he gets frustrated and he can't do something. Um, how do y'all feel? Also, before I had kids, I was like, oh, I'm not going to give them whole milk because, you know, dairy just is not the best. And then my doctor, when I went to the doctor, she was like, yeah, give them whole milk. Don't give them almond milk or anything like that because he doesn't have enough. They're not going to get like enough protein from it but then thinking about it i used to be on like a vegan pescatarian kick like me and my whole family used to be pescatarian and if you ever have watched like any movies on like veganism or like um anything of that sort like you'll learn that like almond milk and all those like other milks have more protein in it than whole milk they say whole milk there's no reason for like us humans to still be drinking whole milk or not whole milk just milk in general like there's no reason for us to still be drinking it like it like there's no studies that prove that it makes our bones stronger and stuff like that and they say there's studies showing that there's more protein and stuff like in soy milk or almond milk or anything like that so i'm like i don't know if i should switch him to almond milk because he's already drinking whole milk but they say that whole milk can cause like asthma and you know like when he's sick like they tell us to not drink milk because when we're sick it causes more mucus and stuff like that so i'm just like i think i'm at a crossroads where i'm like what do i do because obviously the doctors don't give you the best advice when it comes to like nutrition and stuff they kind of just give you like what's in the books and obviously what is in the books is going to be like what's recommended from the government and yeah i'm not going to get too deep into it because it's a very deep topic but i kind of want to switch him over to almond milk but anyway that's my little rant of the day i guess so we'll see you guys later right here My smart baby you put this one in like this like that mm -hmm. like that ready yeah good job sinking me where's the other ones here's the star here's a star go like this look are you looking Look, it's right here. Right here. This one right here. You're almost there. Yeah, good job. 
Yay, baby. Come on. Come on. I'm about to call somebody ugly. Ah. Come here, baby. Only reason you faithful is to <laughs> <clears throat> you'll be fine. I feel like you'll be more likely to meet somebody. I don't even know if anyone will be there at this point because it's I'm going right. So soggy.
What is that, a banana? <laughs> Yummy, eat it. You couldn't choose? No. They have, I wasn't going to try those little things. I don't even know what that's that is. Oh, that's good. what that is? Okay. Yeah. Is this salmon? It looks like tuna. I'm not opposed. That's not salmon. Um, this is salmon. This is like maybe yellowtail. This looks like tuna. Uh -huh. It's salmon. Like anything in the same. Yeah, it is like, um, would you say the salad? Like an egg salad. So they just contacted you and sent it to you? Yeah, they emailed me and asked me if I like wanted to try it or whatever, and I was like, sure, free food, why not? Mm -hmm. Go up. She came over. She came over earlier in the day. <laughs> she came over earlier in the day, and we um, just like hung out. We did our morning. We wrote down some affirmations to, you know, have some positive vibes. And I just got a lot done today. I was really productive. Today is Monday, so. Y'all, yesterday I didn't do anything. I rotted in my bed, which is exactly what I needed slash wanted to do. So I watched a little show. I watched Housewives of uh, New Jersey, and I had a great time. So today I answered like all my emails and did all that stuff and did some um, sponsored content. And yeah, so I was productive today, thankfully, but I didn't have to do too much. Um, we're about to go to the store really quick. I have to get sparkling water for my like sleep mocktail. And then I'm gonna get a cheesecake. <laughs> and then I need to get some milk. So we're about to do that and then come back upstairs. And then I'm gonna get pre and then we're gonna lay down. So go, 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 go please. Go Breeze, go Breeze, go Breeze, go Breeze, go Breeze. Okay, we'll see you guys later. I didn't get on here. I'm about to take them for a walk outside, but I'm like, let me just throw on some pants. Why? These sweatpants are way too expensive. If you know the Vertebrae brand, they're always sold out. And these sweatpants are like $200. I might be wrong. They might be more, a little less, but they're nonetheless expensive sweatpants. Why? Okay, I've put these in the dryer a few times, but there's no excuse for this. 
I put these on and I'm like, I was like, these aren't mine. How is this possible? This is what y'all do? I'm in disbelief right now. I've never had pants shrink this much and I'm really in disbelief. They used to go down. They were never that long, but they definitely went down to my ankle. Look where my ankle is, where my ankle bracelet is. I've never had high waters like this ever in, in life. This is so wrong on all levels. Hey guys, I know I look absolutely insane, but hear me out. We are doing a quick weave today. Guys, I cannot look at another bun. I cannot look at another bob. I can't do it. I physically cannot do it. I'm going to go to Nisi's house. She does her own quick weave. So I'm going to slap one on myself. I'm so excited. I hope it looks good. I feel like it has to look good. Like it, there's just no way it's not going to look good. And then after I'm going to go to the salon downstairs and have them like cut me layers so I don't mess up my hair. Because realistically I could do it myself, but I would rather just a professional do it because this is my first time. Yeah, so I'm really excited or whatever. I need to figure out what I'm going to put on my head to walk over there. Um, it kind of, So I blew it out. I didn't break, get my hair braided down. I did this on Technique, which I'll put like a little link on the video that I saw in this girl's video. Because I have short hair and I don't feel like I need to get my hair braided down. So I did this little technique. It's not like perfect and it's not the best thing ever, but it will do. So that is what we're working with. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys my finished results. And then I'm gonna do my own video. I have some bundles coming, so I'll do like a tutorial if it turns out cute, which not if it's gonna turn out cute. So I will see you guys probably like after the process. Yeah, if you need to. This kind of thing? Oh. Not really. Do you like this length? You can do it shorter. Okay. Yeah, because I do like the frames. Okay. Kind of layers in the front. So yeah, you can do it shorter. Perfect, thank you. Y'all, 
One thing about it, two things for sure. You cannot tell me I think I'm thinking. Okay. I have inches now, girl. I'm so excited. I'm so thrilled. I'm about to cut up. You hear me? Okay. I have not had my hair long like this in so long besides my like wigs. But I have not had like a quick weave, natural look in so long and I'm so excited. Like I should have done this so long ago. These have become my favorite glasses of all time. I'm obsessed with these glasses. If you have not seen my Soto Vision selections, go to the last video, which is my Q&A. The glasses picks, fire. But we're in the house now, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these off. Oh, guys, I'm so excited. I have not had my hair done in so long and you guys know i have been over my hair so i'm really excited about this i got 22 inches and then i he cut it shorter so he cut it a lot shorter like probably like this much off so it's still really long so i'm just so happy i have to like blend it a little bit i'm probably gonna curl it or do something with it crimp it something because it's not like perfect but for how my hair is, y'all know how blunt my hair is. For how my hair is, I did not think it was gonna be able to do anything. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna literally do quick weaves until my hair grows out because I do not wanna see another bob, another bun for a while. I'm gonna do quick weaves and just wigs at this point because I need a break. I'm starving. I'm about to eat something and then I'm gonna please to take a nap. So I'm about to put him down and then figure out my hair. But it looks so good. I'm so happy with it. I need to put my lashes back on too. I'm going to make something to eat and then we'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh my gosh, y'all. I forgot to show you the most important thing. So I ordered these little bags for my brand because I'm like, I want like cute little shipping bags that are customized and look really cute. Tell me why, I waited so long for these. Like I wanted them for when I shipped out my first set of orders. I've waited so long for these. You have to be kidding me. You have to be joking. You have to be joking, you have to be kidding. What would I ever fit in this? Like, am I selling jewelry? What would I ever fit in this? So annoyed. This would be so cute if this was, could fit my clothes in it. Like it would be so adorable and so cute. And I'm just really like, so yeah. So I have all of these bags that I will never, that I will not be able to use. So maybe if I sell socks one day, I don't really know, but yes let me know what you think about the q a my dog is a golden doodle that breed is like real off the wall unhinged that's the best way to describe her honestly like this lighting is giving halloween makeup it's a lot my uh, set is from bow and tea I ordered a lighter color that's like more natural and I'm really excited to get it on my YouTube vlogs. Um, I, get, I just search for like non-copyright vlog music and it will just pop up. Or I'll search like the artist I like and I'll like put like, for example, like Cardi Next Door, like non-copyrighted fragrance choice. I'm going to use the Baccarat. Just be a little extra. My everyday fragrance is this one. Melrose Place right here. On the bottle. Girl, I didn't even send Zuri for training. Like we were gonna pay for it and everything, but the girl never got back to us. Every single day her her all her stuff was packed by the door. So they never came and picked her up. She needs to go so bad though. Like doesn't even make sense.
That's so annoying. That's good. What are you talking no, yeah, no, it looks better. Like before, um, like before I flipped it, I was like, okay, I don't know. Like I feel like one, um, this side, would you can still see my leave out a little bit, but it's not too bad. But this side didn't look as good as this side. Yeah. Oh, but it looks fine now. It looks better. I guess. You know. And my makeup, actually, I hate it to death, so. I don't know why my um, concealer looks like this. this is, is it the... any there yet? It's just not, it's not giving, it's not giving what it's supposed to give, and I'm just... Okay, I'm gonna put my mic out. Hey guys, we're about to go to, I don't know why. I don't know why y'all, but when I was doing my makeup, like, something just did not, I mean, it looks really good right now, but I don't know, something happened earlier, and it just looked so off, but it just looked like it gave, like, my concealer was too light, which never happens, because I did the same thing that I usually do, but anyway, I'm about to, I have to take pictures, I already posted this, but I need to take, like, better pictures in... Sammy. I need some better pictures than this, so I'm going to wear this um, out while we're doing something and take pics in it. And then I have this other outfit that I want to take pictures in, but we're just going to this dinner place called Delilah's. They have one in LA and somewhere else, and they just opened one in Miami, so we're going there. And I'm so excited because I haven't been yet. So. You're not wearing heels. No, I am. Um, I'm about to put them on now. Um... Come show them the look. No. No, you look great. I don't want to. <laughs> She's acting real, <laughs> real, uh, brand new. I don't do the camera. <laughs> she said she doesn't do the camera, so. She's not to like y'all. Lizards are goddamn. We're off to the restaurant. Feeling great, looking great, and that's all you need to know. I have to turn this light off to get the 